Septum occurs when malassezia breaks through our weakened skin barrier and causes inflammation. This leads to even more damage to our skin defences, allowing malassezia to burrow in even deeper, causing a vicious cycle of inflammation and skin damage. Repairing and maintaining a healthy skin barrier may be one of the best ways to prevent seborrheic dermatitis and maybe even cure it. Fortunately, it's not too hard to do, but it will require dedication. This is not a short-term fix. You'll need to bake these things into your daily routine and keep on doing them to maintain a healthy skin barrier and keep septum away. Let's get into it. I'm not going to go into what is the skin barrier and all that boring theoretical stuff. You just need to know your skin protects your inside from the outside. It basically keeps moisture in and it returns out. It's a system that works beautifully to protect us but can get damaged so easily. In fact, almost everything and anything can damage your skin barrier. Too much sun, not enough sun, chemicals like soaps, even baking soda and retinols, over-enthusiastic exfoliation, and yes, even steroid creams. The very same steroid creams doctors like to prescribe for every rash. Some of these things are obvious. I mean, if you scrub your skin raw, obviously that's going to damage your skin barrier, right? But did you know stress, sleep deprivation, and even eating lots of sugar can damage your skin barrier? You know how people with seborrheic dermatitis have sensitive skin? Almost everyone, including me, will say, Oh, I can't use that. I have sensitive skin. Well, sensitive skin is code for our skin barrier is not working and it's not doing its job to protect us. We don't know which came first, damaged skin barrier or malassezia. We do know that malassezia is present on normal skin and is found everywhere and on everyone. Malassezia counts are not higher on the skin surface of people with septum, but the number of malassezia in the stratum corneum, that's the outermost layer of your skin, is much higher on skin affected by septum. Just take a minute to think about what I just said. You have malassezia in your skin, not just on your skin, but actually in your skin. That means those bastard yeasts have found ways to dig in past your skin barrier. Before we go on, I just want to say Malasidia hates videos like this because I teach you how to kill them. To take revenge, I ask you to smash the like button like you're smashing septum and YouTube will show my video to lots more people and you will feel a satisfying sense of achievement. Anyway, when our immune system detects the presence of Malasidia in our skin, it sends out signals that say, Alert! Invaders! This leads to a marching of the guards. More immune cells gather and wage war on these invaders. This immune response causes inflammation which breaks down the skin barrier even further. Malassezia also changes our sebum composition. This weakens our skin acid mantle, which is also part of our skin barrier. In fact, some researchers have gone so far as to propose that a defective skin barrier is the root cause of septum. I think it's one of the major causes of septum, but there's definitely more at play than just a weak skin barrier. In fact, I made an interesting video on this which I will link to in the comments below. Anyway, let's get back to repairing our skin barrier. There are three main things that you need to focus on to repair and maintain a healthy skin barrier. Physical skin care, a healthy skin loving diet, and healthy lifestyle changes. I have three septum skin care golden rules. Next week, I'll tell you what they are and the most important skin care products to repair and maintain your skin barrier when you have septum. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out.